Hello and welcome to this new video in which we're going to look at how to fill a Sudoku grid. So as well as receiving lots of questions about how to actually solve puzzles, we occasionally get questions on how to make a puzzle as well. And one of the most common questions is how to actually fill a Sudoku grid. So today we're going to show you a simple algorithm that you can use to fill a Sudoku grid. We won't fill the whole grid itself, but we'll get you started and then if you're interested in having a go or you're a programmer, then you can use the logic to create your own simple algorithm to fill a Sudoku grid. Okay, so let's get started. So the first step is to pick any square in the grid at random. So it doesn't really matter where. Let's start in the center and we'll put one there. So that's step one. The second step is to then go through and look at the pencil marks for all the other squares in the grid. So now that we have a one here, then we go through, we can of course eliminate one from the box. From the column, and the row. Okay, and all the other squares can of course still have any number from 1 to 9 as the candidate. Now the second stage of the algorithm is to pick one of the squares at random that has the least remaining options. So we wouldn't pick any of these blank squares because they still have nine options. So our algorithm would pick at random any of these squares that now have eight candidates, which is now the lowest number available. If there were squares with seven, then we'd pick one with seven and so on. Okay, so let's say we pick this square. And so we put the lowest option into the square and that's a two. And now we simply repeat. So we now go through and take the two out from the row. And then we pencil mark the new information. This time we take the two out, not the one. Okay, and now we just simply repeat and repeat and repeat. So now we look at the squares. Again, the blank squares still have all nine options. We have some squares with eight options. But now we have squares with just seven options. The ones that share the row with the one and the two. And so next we pick one of those at random. Let's say this square. And we put a three in there. And now we go through and we take out three from the row, three from the column, and three from the box. And you simply repeat and repeat and repeat until you either fill the grid or you might hit a point whereby you can't create a filled grid. So let's look at an example of where this problem could occur and whereby the final step of recursion could kick in. So let's say we've almost filled this box and this box, and now we pick this square, and let's say we put an 8 there. And now we've got one option left here, so we put a 9 there. And suddenly, oh dear, we've broken the puzzle, because the only option left for this box is a 9. We've got the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 placed, but we already have a 9 here. So we have no options. So here we would unwind the path. So the most recent digit we placed was this nine. So we take that out. Now it's got no other options. So we need to go back another stage and we take out this eight. 
Now that did have an option left, which was a nine. So instead, we place the nine there. Now we can place the nine here and then the eight here. And so far, our grid is okay again. So that's an example of recursion, which is the last and perhaps most important step in terms of being able to fill grids quickly, is that your program must remember each step that it takes and be able to unwind. So it will go back to the previous step and try the other options from there. If there were no other options left, then it would go to the step before that, as we just saw, which enabled us to put the nine here, the nine there and the eight there. Um, occasionally you may have to unwind the solve path quite a long way, um, but the algorithm itself is fairly simple. It just keeps on going round and round until it manages to find a filled grid whereby all 81 squares each contain one to nine in each row, column and three by three box. Okay, hope you found that um, video helpful on an algorithm that can be used to fill a Sudoku grid. If you have any comments or any thoughts for other videos that you'd like to see, then please do just let us know in the comments. And as always, we'd really appreciate it if you'd like uh, this video and please do subscribe to our channel to be alerted when we create more videos.